everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Heike and you're watching Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. And uh, sorry if I'm talking very low today, but I'm filming this on Saturday morning while the boyfriend is still asleep because I'm too impatient to wait for Monday to open this. In my last unboxing of the blue haired witch, I already told you that this is a two part order that I'm expecting a second painting and it arrived. Here it is. And let's get into this. I'm trying to make this a bit shorter than the last one. So it's once again the tube you already know. We have this time, yep, we have another broken cap. This is this, this side. This one is a 50 by 50 and it has 46 colors. Oh dear. <laughs> um, I forgot to mention in the last video, I put it in the description then, but this painting did cost me 27 euros 75. I had a store coupon because I ordered these two paintings at once and I think um, I got three dollars off, something like that. So, looks like this, just like the last one. Let's see, okay, and let's get the canvas out. Mm doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. I closed the door to my office and my co-host is not very happy about that. So this is the image. Um, if you watched my show and tab of my finished paintings, you know I have already done this one once. I think it was from the Color Whisper store, if I'm not mistaken, and it was my test painting for round paintings. So I did it in a very small size, a 25 by 25, if I remember correctly. And I always loved this painting, so I knew I wanted to do that again in a bigger size. And um, when I saw that Ever Moment, or in this case, EM Fun store, um, offered it, I knew I was going to buy it at some point just didn't know when but I did it now. So as you can see a long 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 key 46 colors um, on the back once again like with the last one the explanation how many diamonds are in the big and in the small bags how many extra diamonds they give you etc etc so same thing like the last time also with the toolkit, same toolkit as last time, the white moss of a boat, the pink pen with the purple grippy single placer, three placer, a six placer, the ever moment tweezers, two big chunks of wax, and a bag full of baggies. These are also the good type, the thicker type with the white stripe. Um, so these are very good baggies. And we have another Ever Moment washi tape. This time it's it's a teal color. Once again with the Ever Moment print. And let's have a look at the drills. With the last pack of drills, I was very happy. Looking at these, I am once again very very happy. They have smooth backs. They have straight sides. I don't see any divots right away and this one is very colorful I'm going to do inventory later okay let's look at the back first and just like the last one looks perfectly smooth to me so there's a bit of 
Oh, some kind of dirt up there. Don't know what that is. But quite frankly, if it's on the back, I don't care. And let's have a look at the, at the canvas. But this time, this, isn't, this is not the biggest size I could have gotten. There would also have been a 60 by 60, but I thought that would not be necessary. 50 by 50 probably is already very, very big. I think a, a 40 by 40 would have been good too. But I saw someone finish it in this size and I just loved how it looked, so I knew I was going to, to get it in this size. <coughs> So here come the eyes, they are going to be so great when they are done because they are these vibrant green colors, beautiful. <laughs> and here comes the rest, I'm going to push it up in a moment, I know you can't see it all right now. The table is a bit crowded with all the stuff they give you. <laughs> Alrighty, so I think now you can see most of it. Yeah. So this time the glue is not 100% perfect like with the blue bridge. I think you can see it here in the, in the reflection of the light. There is some slight um, creasing in the glue. It's not exactly a bubble yet. It could become a bubble. Um, so that's very unusual for Evermoment as far as I know them. But I'll have an eye on that and see how it develops and if it develops at all. Sometimes these creases happen and nothing happened with it and sometimes they turn into bubbles. So I'll, I'll keep you posted on this. Other than that, I think the glue is once again perfect. The print is very, very clear, but let me tell you the confetti game is real. I'm trying to show you the print here. I'm sorry for the glare of the lamp, but I think you can see that it's once again very clear. And I think the confetti game is real here. Really, really real. <laughs> But it's going to look awesome in the end, so I guess it's worth it. All right, let's cover up again. And something I have seen people struggle with recently is getting the cover paper down without any air bubbles underneath it. So I, I thought I go, I'm going to show you how, how I do it. I've seen that some people like Mrs. Coffee and Rachel already use the ruler um, I recommended it to Mrs. Coffee at some point because she wanted to get some of these wooden tongue repressor things or whatever they are called, whatever the doctor uses. It's really unnecessary um, because you can just use any old ruler you have. Um, does the, the same job. I just put it down here and then I hold the paper and slide the ruler across and then you have no air bubbles underneath the glue whatsoever. Works perfectly fine with clear covers. That's actually when I started doing it for clear cover. And um, then I thought why not do it for the opaque as well. release the tension here on this side too and like I said I'm, I'm going to make this a very short video so I'm not going to do the inventory on camera this time I'll just let you know in the description box below 
Okay, on this side we have the same thing happening to the glue. Here is a bit of, of rippling in the glue, which I hope won't turn into bubbles. Once again, I'm going to keep you posted on this. Otherwise, except for a cat hair, <laughs> there's nothing on the canvas. So, and there we are. Alright, so I'm going to do inventory and I'll put the result in the description below. Um, other than that, first impression, very good. Um, I'm a bit worried about these ripples on the side. We will see what turns, what they turn into, what comes out of it. Um, but except uh, other than that, I'm quite happy with how this looks. The drills look good, the print is always as perfect, so let's hope it turns out good. Anyway guys, I'll leave you with this. I think my co-host is a bit miffed that I closed the office door because she is lying in front of it, so I have to open that door now again. Um, have a great day, have fun with whatever you're doing. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up, maybe even a comment, I love those, and I'm nearly caught up on answering to all the comments you left me in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, me. Um, and until then, have fun, and we will talk again soon. Bye-bye.